Throughout history, the vast and uncharted areas of the world have been shrouded in mystery and danger. Ancient cartographers, faced with the uncertainty of what lie beyond known territories, resorted to labeling unexplored regions with the ominous phrase, here be dragons. This phrase served as a warning, signaling the presence of potential dangers such as sea monsters and other mythological creatures. While early maps often featured illustrations of these fantastical beings, the phrase itself became an anachronism over time. The Hunt Lennox Globe, dating back to 1504, contains the earliest known historical use of the phrase in its Latin form. Prior to this discovery, the phrase, here are lions, was commonly used to denote unknown territories on maps. Despite its nature, here be dragons has since become a popular symbol of uncharted waters and a representation of the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. Today we'll delve into the realm of sea monsters that have captivated the imaginations of sailors, explorers, and storytellers for centuries. From Davy Jones Locker, a mythical resting place of drowned sailors, to the enigmatic sea serpents and sirens of folklore, and the legendary kraken lurking out the coast of Norway. These mysterious creatures have left their mark on the maritime world. Davy Jones Locker, a term coined by sailors, has its roots dating back to at least 1751, but likely earlier. This nautical term refers to the oceanic abyss, the final resting place of drowned sailors and travelers. It was believed that those who perished at sea would be sent to Davy Jones' locker, implying a fate befrit of heavenly rewards. The origins of the name Davy Jones are unclear, with some associating it with the devil or evil spirits of the ocean. Others believe it may have been linked to an incompetent sailor or a pub owner who kidnapped sailors. In folklore, Davy Jones is often depicted as a sea demon with saucer eyes, sharp black scales, and a terrifying appearance. Sea serpents have long captured the imaginations of sailors and cartographers alike. In the 1555 work, History of the Northern Peoples, Olgus Magnus described a Norwegian sea serpent of fearsome size, with a length ranging from 200 to 400 feet and flaming red eyes. These creatures were said to attack vessels, devouring people and causing havoc at sea. While some doubted sea serpents' aggressive behavior, sailors' tales reported these beasts wrapping their coils around ships and pulling them underwater. In desperation, sailors would toss large objects overboard, hoping to distract the sea serpents and avoid their destructive wrath. In the realms of mythology and folklore, sirens and mermaids hold a special place as alluring and captivating creatures of the sea. Often depicted as beautiful maidens with the lower bodies of fish, they possessed enchanting voices that lured unsuspecting sailors to their doom. According to Greek mythology, sirens were originally companions of Persephone, the queen of the underworld. However, when Persephone was abducted by Hades, the sirens sought her in vain, and their bodies transformed into half-woman, half-bird beings. They were then banished to live on rocky islands, where their irresistible songs beckoned sailors toward their treacherous shoals. The mesmerizing voices of sirens were said to possess a captivating power, capable of seducing even the most steadfast sailors. Those who succumbed to their songs would steer their ships toward the sirens' rocky abodes, crashing upon the jagged shores and meeting a tragic fate. Only a few legendary heroes, such as Odysseus from Homer's Odyssey, managed to resist the siren's alluring call through strategic measures, like tying themselves to their ship's mast or plugging their crew members' ears with wax. Mermaids, on the other hand, are often portrayed as more benevolent creatures. They were believed to be the guardians of the sea, appearing as beautiful women from the waist up and having fish-like tails instead of legs. Mermaids were said to be curious beings, sometimes interacting with sailors and offering assistance or guidance during perilous times at sea. In various folk tales and legends, mermaids were associated with good fortune, bestowing blessings upon those who encountered them. However, they could also be mischievous, luring sailors into the depths of the ocean with their enchanting songs and causing shipwrecks. The legend of mermaids have spanned across different cultures, from the seductive Rusulkas of Slavic folklore to the gentle Ningyo of Japanese mythology. No exploration of sea monsters would be complete without mentioning the legendary kraken. Originating from North mythology, the kraken is a colossal sea monster that dwells off the coast of Norway and Greenland. It is described as a massive cephalopod with tentacles so vast that they can wrap around entire ships, pulling them down into the depths of the sea. The kraken was believed to be a fearsome force of nature, capable of creating whirlpools and churning the ocean into a frenzy. Sailors dreaded encountering this colossal beast, as its immense size and strength posed a significant threat to their vessels. 
Tales of the Kraken's devastating attacks on ships have been passed down through the generations, fueling the myth and adding to its mystique. Although the Kraken originated from ancient Norse legends, its presence in popular culture has expanded over time. It has made appearances in numerous works of literature, including Herman Melville's Moby Dick and Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The Kraken's imposing figure continues to captivate the imagination and serves as a testament to humanity's fascination with the mysteries of the deep sea. The world's oceans have long been a source of wonder and fear, giving rise to captivating tales of sea monsters and mythical beasts. From the cartographer's cautionary phrase, here be dragons, to the treacherous depths of Davy Jones' locker, the ancient mariners' encounters with sea serpents, the enchanting songs of sirens and mermaids, and the awe-inspiring legend of the Kraken, these stories have shaped our perception of the vast and mysterious oceans. While science has shed light on many of the ocean's secrets, the allure of these mythical creatures endures. They continue to inspire our imagination and remind us that the depths of the sea still hold mysteries yet to be fully explored. So the next time you find yourself gazing at the endless expanse of the ocean, remember that beneath the waves, an ancient world of myth and wonder awaits. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I want to thank my Patreon top tier subscribers, 1660, Larry W., and Patrick Chamberlain. If you can help out on Patreon or with a direct donation via PayPal, the links are below.